Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday routine. So this is showing my hair, my makeup routine, um, you know, what I use for my perfume. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this. So first of all, I'm going to be taking my refreshing soft moisturising cream by Nivea. I absolutely love this, so moisturising and it's really good for an everyday basis. Then I'm going to be taking my wet brush. This helps get all the tangles out my hair as I am very head sore. So this doesn't, you know, tug on my hair. So it's actually really soft. Then I'm going to be taking my Diva Simpler Hair Luscious Gloss and I love this, this gives it a lovely shine and you'll see that at the end when you see the finished product. Then I'm going to be taking my hair dryer by Trevor Sorbet, I think that's how you say it but anyway it's a hair dryer, it does the job, it blow dries with my hair so it's good. And then this is, um, sometimes I like if I'm had a shower at the night I won't blow dry my hair because I don't want to use too much heat sometimes because obviously I am a ballroom dancer so I have a lot of products in it a lot of the time so but if I it is in the day I will dry it because my hair gets super frizzy and um, so now I'm going to be taking my straightener and um, I have to straighten my hair as it goes very frizzy throughout the day because my hair is quite curler well not curler like wavy and then when it gets really hot it gets frizzy very badly so I take my straightener mainly every day if not I'll leave it naturally curly but um, I will take my straightener through it just to make sure you know I've got no bumps creases in it all that jazz so I will always straighten my hair And just still going through the back of my hair, going to the front of my hair, keep, keep doing the same technique. I don't really have a technique, I just, you know, put the straightener on, run it through. Um, yeah, I always use this straightener. This is the best straightener, GHD. So then after that, I'm going to be taking my bubble and I use these bubbles a lot and um, I don't know what they're called. They're like a spiral bubble because I like these because they don't snap your hair and it's like they don't leave any kinks after you've straightened it, what I really love. So yeah, I always use these for when I'm doing my makeup. So now I'm going to be taking the Fasali Jelly Beam Highlighter. So this is a cream highlighter. I really love to use cream highlighters before my foundation because I think it really gives it a lovely, you know, dewy look to the skin. It gives it a lovely glow. Um, I think that's really nice. I'm still into that summer glow at the minute. I know it's bad, but I really want to keep that because I think it looks really fresh on the skin. So I'm just applying that with a dual fibre brush by Real Techniques. I love this brush because it gives it a really even base. And then after that, I'm going to be taking the Professional by Benefit. I really love this primer and um, I use it mainly every day or I switch between the Smashbox primer as well. Um, it does a good job, keeps my makeup on, so recommend this. And then taking my Everyday Browsings by benefit I use this literally every day especially for when I've just gotten you know I'm just going to practice or something or you know I'm going shopping maybe but mainly it's practice so um, I always use this because it gives it a lovely natural brow but you know not too harsh and I'm using it with a Morphe M158 brush this is from the James Charles collection you'll see today that I'm mostly using James Charles brushes or Jaclyn Hill and some a few um, real techniques and there is one BH cosmetic brush as well I'll be using today. Yeah so I'm just going to use light strokes towards the um, front of the brow so it gives it a lovely natural effect and always brushing through them. Then after that, I'm going to be taking my P. Louise base. This is in shade 0 0.5, I think, because it's rubbed off. I've used it that many times, the um, shade is rubbed off. I think it's in 0 0.5. Then taking um, my flat brush by Morphe, which is the M410. Um, obviously, James Charles again. I love this one. Um, really helps out carve the brown. And then 
using my Morphe M173 to blend out that eye base. Um, it does it a really quick and easy job and I absolutely love it. And then just going over the brow if I need to fill in anything else in again, um, just to make sure, you know, it's perfect. I am a perfectionist. And then just like that, my other brow is done. I wish that happened every day, but clearly it doesn't. It takes time. Um, obviously brows are not twins, they're sisters. So don't worry if they're not even everyone. And then I'm gonna be taking my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I really love this because obviously it's a great price and also it gives a really lovely fluffy brow effect. Um, so it basically gives the same as what the Salt Brow does, but quicker. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be taking one of my favorite foundations, which is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation with SPF 15. Really important to always have SPF in your um, foundation or do it before you put your foundation on because the sun can still come out guys in England so you never know you don't want to be getting burnt so SPF is really important then taking my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03 foundation brush one of my favorite brushes for foundation and the foundation is in seven medium a really lovely coverage and a lovely shade for me especially when I have a tan um, also, I really love about this foundation because it really looks like skin. I really like it on an everyday basis for my skin to look like my own. Sometimes it's a bit much when you cover it with a like a full coverage foundation. Then taking my absolute favourite um, concealer of all time, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Neutral. I use this mainly every day. This is great for covering blemishes, redness, under eye circles, you name it. It can cover literally anything. Um, I love this. And just taking that brush again, what I use to blend out my eye base from um, the James Charles collection. Then just going over with my beauty blender, just to make sure everything's even. And then going in with my favorite powder of all time, which is the Huda Beauty in shade Pound Cake. This really is a really good baking powder. It sets everything in for me, locks it all in, and makes sure my makeup doesn't budge at all. This is probably the secret to keeping your makeup on. And then straight after that, I'm gonna be taking my Stay Matte Rimmel Powder, one of my favorite powders of all time. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M527. This is just gonna be, you know, brushing off the bake, setting my whole face, you know, you name it, it sets everything. So I'm just making sure everything's blended. And then taking my Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette in Medium Dark by Charlotte Tilbury. You'll see I use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this makeup tutorial today and um, because I love it. It's just, I think it gives such a lovely glow to the Sin Charlotte Tilbury products and also I think the Charlotte Tilbury really knows how to enhance your natural features. Um, and I think this um, palette really does the job. And then I'm gonna be taking it on a James Charles Morphe E4 brush, which is a contour brush. I really love this brush. Wow, I said brush a lot of times then. <laughs> so I'm just applying that to temples, my cheekbones and my jawline. And then I'm gonna take in my favorite blush of all time, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Peachy Love. And taking that on a Morphe M405 brush. Absolutely love this, my favorite blusher of all times. Then taking my Charlotte Tilbury powder in Air, uh, oh my God, get my words out me. In Fair One, Airbrush Flawless Finish. Um, I use this just to set everything back in place again and to make sure it looks like a flawless finish. It says it in the product. <laughs> And then I'm going to be taking my Max Fi Fix Plus, yeah, Fix Plus, that's it, Lavender Scent. Um, I love this one, obviously it smells like lavender, so it's really relaxing and it sets everything in place for me. Then I'm going to be taking my 
Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar Highlighter. Absolutely love this highlighter. And then I'm gonna be taking the highlighter brush by Morphe, M501 brush. Really precisely, this is, I, I apply this to my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, you name it. I kind of love highlighter, so I apply it everywhere. And then after that, I'm gonna be taking my Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. This is a really small brush, so it, you know, puts it, the highlighter on my nose from it, my cupid's bow, inner corners, and brow bone. So it really does it really nicely. And this highlighter, oh, it's amazing. It literally looks like a wet gold on your skin. It's so nice. And if I've missed any products down, I would definitely put them in the description below. So then after that, I'm gonna be taking my Charlotte Tilbury eyelash curler. I use this all the time. I have got quite long eyelashes, I think I have anyway. I hope so. And um, I curl them every day um, because it really gives it a lovely lift for me. And then taking my favorite mascara of all times, which is the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. This makes your lashes look so long. It gives it so much volume, absolutely love it. And I just apply that to the top and bottom. I really hope you're enjoying the video so far. This is obviously my first one I'm doing. So I really hope you enjoy it. Then I'm gonna be taking my Whirl Lip Liner by MAC. Absolutely love this, gives it a really nice, you know, dark, um, you know, autumn vibe. Absolutely love this. Then I'm gonna be taking my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which is Stone Rose. And I'm just gonna be taking that on a Real Technique lip brush. Um, I think a brush really applies your lipstick really nicely, gives it a really nice even coverage. And um, sometimes when you apply it straight from the, um, you know, the product, sometimes it, you know, it comes out not as even and it also comes out a bit blotchy sometimes. So then I'm going to be taking my favourite bronzer which is MAC Deep Darkest, I use this every day and this is also on the BH Cosmetic brush, I don't know what brush this is because I've had it for a long time I think, about a year now and it's like washed off the, um, the, the name of it so I use this every day, um, I love this bronzer. So then I'm just getting my hair out, you know, modeling, posing, you, you name it. Um, just showing you how lovely my skin looks. And then I'm gonna be taking my favorite perfume of all times, which is the Mademoiselle by Chanel. I really hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Love you lots, bye.